Now we need to adjust the reminder data init function because this version doesn't fit our needs anymore. As you remember, now it's needed to construct the object from a row which contains all column values. So here we construct the reminder data from a row. And in this insert statement, we are returning all column values. So the parameter of the init function would be a row. Then it needed to retrieve and assign all values to corresponding fields. So the first one is the reminder ID. And it has the index 0. So the first one. Next one would be chat ID. And it has the next index. Third one is a message. Next one is a time. And the last one is fired flag. Also, the fire method is useless now because we need to save this data not just to the object, but to the database. So let's remove it. Instead of it, we have already created a fire reminder method in data source class. So let's check it. Here it is. And it uses fire reminder statement. So it updates the fired flag. The wrapper and should be fired methods are left the same, so the main logic remains the same. And uh, now the reminder data class is completely ready. Accordingly, we are moving to the main file.